Catenary sag refers to the hanging shape the sagging chain takes after leaving the drive sprockets. By proactively checking the vertical sag of your mat top chain, you can gain better chain drive efficiency and identify chain elongation, projecting when links need to be removed or chain replaced. Catenary sag needs to be measured with chain under tension and in operation. It is important to measure catenary sag from a safe distance to avoid personal harm. Rexnord recommends that all flat top chains be run with a proper amount of catenary sag. The sag is measured from an imaginary line running from the bottom of the drive sprockets to the beginning of the chain return. As you can see, the recommended open horizontal span is generally 18 to 24 inches. The recommended vertical chain sag is 3 to 5 inches when running under load. This results in proper engagement between the drive sprockets and the chain. As you can see, our chain is too long and must be shortened. The chain will elongate over time from hinge wear caused when the chain links flex as they engage and disengage the head and tail sprockets. We recommend checking chain sag at least once a month and removing chain links as required to maintain proper chain sag. Shut off the conveyor following your company's recommended lockout tagout procedures. Before disconnecting the flat top chain, determine the chain type and how to properly remove the pin. The metal pins in tabletop chains must be driven out with a hammer and drift. Most of them can be driven out from either side of the chain hinge. Remove one chain pin in the manner determined in the previous step. Remove it on the carryway as shown near the drive sprocket so the chain can be supported adequately. Pull the overlapping ends of the chain hand tight to determine how many links can be removed. Remove the pin from the appropriate chain link. Reconnect the chain as shown and be sure to center the pins upon reassembly. After making sure everything is clear, remove the locks and restart the conveyor. Examine the sag while running under load to make sure the sag is within the recommended limits. This chain is now running with the recommended catenary sag.